Hello, yesterday I coded this and people have commented that uh, they thought I was going to animate the whole thing. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, now, note that this is only going to work in browsers that support conic gradients natively. So for now, that's Blink browsers with the experimental web platform features flag enabled. And for this reason, uh, I've uh, removed uh, all the Firefox fallbacks and, and stuff like that, because I'm not going to need them anyway. So um, let's get started with this. First of all, let's maximize this. And what we're going to do is uh, here, we're going to make this uh, HSL. So it, uh, SAS doesn't think it's the SAS HSL function. And it's um, the CSS HSL function. Um, which accepts calc inside, unlike the SAS one. Okay, um, and I'm going to interpolate this, and here I'm going to add an offset, and this is a custom property. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is register the CSS custom property. So, uh, register, uh, register property. Um, I'm going to give it a name, and its name as I wrote it there, it's offset off. Um, it's going to have a syntax, and this is basically the type number. Um, and I'm going to give it initial value. This is going to be zero. Okay, so now that I've done this, I have my gradient right here. And now I can collapse this, I can collapse the body. Um, I can collapse that thing as well. Um, I can collapse this after right here, and I'm going to uh, create a set of keyframes. So uh, keyframes flow, and this is going to go um, offset. It's going to go to uh, 360. Um, now here I'm going to add an animation. So um, animation flow two seconds linear, infinite, and this should do it. Okay, and as you can see, this now works. And the thing is, I can do something like minus 360, and it should go the other way. So, um, yeah, this is it. This is uh, how you animate things in browsers that support um, conic gradients natively. And the thing uh, with supporting conic gradients natively is that inside the conic gradient um, here, where I'm uh, creating the stops, uh, I have um, a calc inside the HSL value. And uh, that's not going to work with the polyfill. So um, that's the reason. So I can't use custom properties and calc and stuff like that with the polyfill. That's the whole reason why I need to have um, native conic gradient support. In any event, if you think this is really cool and really useful, you can just uh, support the implementation of conic gradient in other browsers as well. I'm going to be leaving the links in the description. And uh, yeah, this is it for today. This is what I wanted to show you. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like my work and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting it in one of the ways explained in the description. You can do it with a donation and any amount can contribute towards helping me stay afloat or you can make this kitty happy by getting her something off her Amazon wish list. There are two links there. Uh, or you can support the implementation of the cool things um, that are used for this uh, demo. There will be links in the description for that as well. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.